Good afternoon, thank you for having me. Um, I realize that I'm the last man standing between you guys and lunch, so bear with me, we'll get through this and um, whet your appetite just a little bit more. So, um, Forward V Pharma, we're working on a new and highly differentiated approach to the treatment of chronic retinal disease. Um, as you're all well aware by now, chronic retinal diseases have a very uh, complex pathology in terms of uh, what we're treating as a disease state, the current standard of care in terms of anti-VEGF, monotherapies, of course, have significant limitations, both in terms of uh, treatment burden for patients, uh, in terms of number of intravitreal injections, um, as well as, unfortunately, suboptimal outcomes for patients in terms of visual efficacy. So we've got those classic unmet needs that we're looking to address. And as you've heard through this, present, this session, as well as prior sessions, there are lots of programs, lots of developments um, currently active. Many of them involve very complex compounds uh, as well as complex routes of administration uh, for these um, compounds. At Forward View, we've taken a slightly different approach to how we think we can solve this problem. And we're gonna talk a little bit about that in particular. Um, the compound that we're working with is a compound called carboxyamidotriazole, or CAI. Now, CAI was actually developed back in the 1980s, um, and because of its potent anti-angiogenic effects, it was clinically trialed by the National Cancer Institutes in the 1990s in an oral dose form. Um, CAI brings to the table a very potent form of anti-angiogenic uh, effects as a consequence of a true novel multi-target mechanism of action, uh, which we think is what in makes it significantly different and a, and a large opportunity if we can take this API and formulate it into um, a durable configuration uh, to reduce treatment burden at the same time as producing uh, better clinical outcomes in terms of vision. So how does CAI work? Um, the primary mechanism of action for CAI is a calcium channel blocker. So CAI in particular blocks non-voltage gated calcium channels, otherwise known as ORAI1 channels. Uh, and this is important, of course, because intracellular calcium is a significant mediator of angiogenesis. But beyond calcium channel blocking, CAI also co-locates with the VEGFR2 receptor. It mediates integrin and also has an effect on PDGF as well. So it's a true multi-target mechanism of action in the sense that it attacks multiple areas along the complex chain of pathologic vessel growth. And we think that, of course, lends directly to the potential for high potency. Now, does it actually work when we put it in the back of the eye for this particular indication? And the answer so far appears to be yes. And so in our preclinical animal trials, we've been able to demonstrate good prevention as well as regression of pathologic vessel growth in both mouse and rabbit models of induced retinopathy. What you see here is uh, in the mouse OIR model, and you can see uh, we've demonstrating both prevention as well as regression, and in terms of inhibition, as much as 90% inhibition of abnormal blood vessel growth, and of course that compares favorably to only about 50% um, inhibition of blood vessel growth uh, when using standard aflipercept in the same model. So that's a substantial improvement and again, indicator of potency for this particular compound. Um, we've also seen in other preclinical animal models the uh, potential for neuroprotection uh, with this particular compound. Uh, and of course, neuroprotection has the potential to lead to dry AM AMD and GA types of indications. Of course, there was a uh, Good discussion yesterday about um, neuroprotection, and so I don't want to go step into anything, anything further on that particular front, but we think there's some potential there for uh, future indications. So kind of coming back to where we are today, um, we've been working to formulate CAI into uh, our first delivery method, which will be an injectable biorotable rod configura configuration similar to Ozerdex. Um, the good news is we're going to be using standard PLGA type copolymers, which are well characterized, um, biocompatible. We know how they work. We know how to engineer them to get the results we're looking for. And in fact, in our initial studies, we've been able to demonstrate uh, nice linear and consistent uh, dose response. Our kinetics look great, as certainly as compared to the standard Ozodex delivery, which we know tends to dump about 90% of its API load in the first 30 days. 
Um, we're currently working to optimize our delivery um, over the four to six month range, which is our target for our human clinical studies, uh, which will allow us to basically reduce the treatment burden, of course, to two injections per year from that perspective. Uh, we're building a patent portfolio around our opportunities. We have two patents issued. We have two multiple applications that are currently under review uh, at the patent office. We're looking at both methods of treatment as well as formulation specific to our optimal drug delivery. Uh, everybody knows the market opportunity, so I'll probably pass that. But I do want to um, reinforce again the, the competitive difference here between what we're doing in terms of a true multi-target mechanism of action with this compound combined with a formulation that will allow for good durability and then uh, reduction of treatment burden there, which is substantially different from what we see kind of in most other developments that are currently ongoing. So we're currently in the process of finalizing our um, implant optimizations. We're doing our pre-IND work um, to have discussions with FDA. We'll be looking to raise a $10 million Series A in the new year, which will fund both our IND enabling activities as well as our phase one, two human clinical study. So a $10 million investment will yield um, significant human clinical outcomes and with positive outcomes, significant value inflection points as well. Uh, Forward View was founded by Dr. Alan Franklin, a vitreoretinal specialist, 25 years of experience, uh, both in research as well as clinical practice. Uh, we're supported by a board of directors with deep experience in the ophthalmic space and very proud to be working with a strong clinical advisory board. These retina KOLs, I'm sure many of you recognize, uh, and they've been incredibly supportive of our development work. So in summary, Forward View brings to the table a significantly differentiated solution, something we think is much more simple and straightforward, which gets us into the clinic quicker with reduced risk with a body of patient safety data from prior National Cancer Institute studies, and what we think is a simple and direct path uh, to a better solution for humans, clinical trials. Thank you very much for your time.